video is sponsored by Kush Online, your home for cute, comfortable, curvy wear. Kush takes the stress out of getting dressed. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Tiana J and her mother. I'm not quite sure her mom's name, but um, we all are familiar with her mother because recently she did put up a post about her. Um, and in the post, uh, she was talking about some drama that her mother had uh, gotten herself involved in and, uh, you know, exposed her, for lack of a better way to say it. Um, so we are going to um, talk about her in a video that she did with her mom. Um Quite frankly, it was a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, for lack of a better way to say it, that video had a lot going on. And I can't believe that a mother would um, conduct themselves with their child and vice versa in the matter in which they did in this particular video. So I'm going to pull it up here and we are going to take a look at it and uh, we're going to give our commentary. Please be sure, guys, number one, if you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you uh, have not hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so. And also, guys, be sure to uh, hit that notification bell as well so that when we upload, you will definitely be able to know it. Now, also, we do have another channel. Um, if you will, look in our comments and you can definitely see the information about that. And hopefully um, you will become a member of that channel at some point. I hope that you do love our commentary to the point that you'd want to. So, um, but we're going to jump right on into this. Also, guys, um, I didn't play the full video, but as you do know, we do have a women's plus size clothing store, Kush Online. I do have a pretty awesome sale going on over there. Our deal of the day um, items are $3.33 or up. Um, these are things that have been in our inventory for quite some time so we are just trying to move them out the way for new items and new releases um when we closed and opened back up we actually um made the decision to uh decrease the amount of items that we will have available at any given time so um by us marking them down uh, <laughs> that, that, that is so guys, uh, give me a brief moment. I'm going to pop this video up here and then we're going to get going with our commentary. Just one moment. Now we may actually not play the whole video. I, as you know, we're just doing commentary on the video. If you do want to watch the video in its entirety, you're most welcome to do so. You'll just need to go over to her channel to do that. Um, as a commentator channel, obviously, number one, you must follow guidelines of fair use. And number two, um, I don't want to hold you too long. You know, we want to talk about um, some of the things that have uh, been discussed in the video. And then from that point, we will um, allow you guys to leave your commentary below. So let's jump right on over into this thing let me pull them up on the screen
she has to take a drink. That's another thing. Now, I'm a, a lot older than this young lady. And even with me and my mom, I don't think I would feel comfortable um, drinking with her. Now, if we're having dinner and wine is a part of the menu, then mm, I may or may not. But when it comes to just drinking with my mom or asking her personal questions, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Even though she says that the questions were brought about by members, there's still a certain way, in my opinion, that you conduct yourself and being that that is so, it's certain things I wouldn't ask. All right, y'all with it? Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, so I got my mama here and I got the questions right here on my phone. We about to get into this. You ready? Mm -hmm. Are you scared? No. Nope. Are you nervous? No. Nope. Is that sweat? A little bit. <laughs> I'm about to be an interrogator. <laughs> okay, so first question. What's the best thing about being Tiana's mom? <laughs> that ain't. She's my only girl. My favorite daughter. I love her. I'm your only daughter. She's my favorite daughter. The best thing about um, being her mom, though, is like, she's my little best friend. That's where they For real. You, she treat me like animal, but you really shouldn't try to be too much of a friend to your child. As they're both as they grow up, yes, you do develop a bit of a friendship, but I mean you still have to keep those boundaries. You know, she is my best friend. I love my daughter. And she gave me the most beautiful is grandson. A time you got caught during sex. I mean, one time I was dealing with this guy and we had Okay, this is one of those questions like, why would you even want to know anything about your mother and her uh, quieto stimulation? That's a lot going on. I had sex in my van, like, and, you know, when the van comes a rocking, don't come a knocking. And my niece had came downstairs and she saw the van rocking, so she didn't knock. Did she open the car? Mm -mm. So, did she see? No, she knew what was going on, though. Oh, that is too much. Lord Jesus. No, you oh. can't. You can't. You, you can't. Okay, go ahead. You can go. You can take a sip. Um, what's something you never told each other? I don't know. Because I, 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 I share a lot of stuff with you, so I can't think. I mean, it's certain things that you shouldn't share. That's why you got friends. Think of anything. I really thought this lady was real religious, too. Um, Let me think. It's something I... I don't think I ever told you, um, well, I think I kind of told you that already, um, about, I think it was when I had met Elijah's father, like, met up with him, I told you I was going to a friend's house, yeah, but I had actually, that. I had actually met up with him, um, uh, I'm not really that type to really just do mm -hmm. crazy off the wall stuff, like, and to keep it from you, we talk about, we talk about a lot of stuff together. I masturbated before. What the hell? <laughs> like, that is, I don't know. Ugh. Both of them are a little gross and throw it off. And then the thing is, Tiana had the nerve, the gall, actually, to be judgmental and say something about Rihanna having kids and not being married. First of all, honey, you not married. And you got a child. So who are you to judge anybody? And then Rihanna can take care of a thousand households. And you are using the government to take care of one. Not that I'm not, I'm not knocking her. Don't get me wrong. But baby, you should not be judging at all. Yeah, you could have kept that to yourself. <laughs> you could have kept that to yourself. That's wild. Mm -hmm. I used to keep, um, what you call them things? Dildos. In my drawer in my bedroom. What? Yeah. Oh, this is so disturbing. And um, I had two of them. It was a white one and a black one. It was big. This lady, I thought she was saved. Not that saved people can't, you know, do that. But, I mean, just the way that she is representing herself now compared to how she used to act. 
Yeah, this a lot going on. My <laughs> Don't do it again. Don't, don't do it. Okay, that's enough for that. Okay, one of them used to get stick. Mom, <laughs> we don't need no people. You, you said you said tell you something. I never told you that. I never told you that. Nah. Oh, okay. We being okay. Um, truthful. That's crazy that you just brought that up. I actually um had one too, but. Girl, it was too big. High five, girl. No, it was too big. Okay. I never. I, 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 girl couldn't even get past the 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 head part. She couldn't even get. Past. It was too disturbing. What size did you have, girl? I don't know. I just bought it. I thought Where I was bought it from Amazon. Me too. <laughs> Those photos. <laughs> First of all, when you're in a conversation and you can say girl to your mama, yeah, that's a lot. Do that stuff away. That's a conversation you guys should not be having. How did you feel when you found out T was pregnant? Your honest, honest. At truth. first I was angry. At first I was angry and she knows that. So, um. Aura Gel's leading formula helps you knock out pain and immediately hit pause on severe toothache then i just i had to accept it. it ain't like she wasn't grown but i was angry how's your mental health doing both of y'all mine's a little clouded at the moment i'm trying to get my life together but um slowly but surely i'm getting there and i need a drink every day and my medication and my therapist and my psychiatrist so there you go um favorite thing to do together Shop. Yes. <laughs> to shop. <laughs> Any yeah. kind of shopping. It don't matter it don't whether it's matter. grocery shopping, clothes shopping, shoes shopping. 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 Point point blank period. Online shopping. Yep. Shopping shopping. Yep. I know you guys have recently had some conflicts. How were those conflicts resolved? Are these are the kind of I feel like just talking to each other. Yeah. And, and honestly, get in the uh, getting the facts. Mm -hmm. When you get the facts, then you're able to resolve things instead of just going on assumptions. Yeah, or your feelings. Right. Or how, how you feel at the moment. Right. Getting the facts and also forgiveness, too. And that, exactly. Forgiveness is the biggest part. How do you stay encouraging each other during difficult times in your relationship as mom and daughter? Sometimes we take breaks from one another and then... She'll call me and be like, Ma, da 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 this and that and the other, and I'll give her some advice or vice versa. Vice versa, yep. Mm -hmm. We call each other all the time with each other's problems. I don't know if y'all <laughs> I don't know if a parent should need so much advice from a child. I don't know. I mean, especially a child who you've had so much toxicity with and things of that nature. It seems kind of weird. Hey, Planet Me Me TV. Welcome to the chat. Um, I don't know if you've seen this, but baby, this was quite a video. Pete in one of my vlogs, but I had said how my mom will call me about certain things that's going on in her life. And she'll be asking me like, she'll, well, she'll be telling me what's going on. Like I'm supposed to be able to fix her issues and I'll do this, the same exact mm -hmm. thing. Like we could fix each other issues and right yeah, now. <laughs> well, it's kind of just like bouncing stuff off of each other and you know, one or the other uh, giving the best advice they think they might have or right. just listening or sometimes. Or just encouraging, yeah. period. You know, like, hey, you can do it. Right. You know, and... And my daughter's been great with that as far as uh, my whole mental health thing, but, you know, she's been very encouraging, very supportive and stuff. All of my kids yeah. have, to be honest. How was your mother's pregnancy with twins? Any difficulties? Um, no, except for they were just big as I don't know what. Tiana came out weighing 9 pounds, 2 ounces, and her brother weighed um, 6 pounds, 10 ounces. So together, that's almost 16 pounds of baby, never mind the fluid in the, uh, you know, the uh, afterbirth or what is it called? The placenta? Placenta, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was carrying around about 16 pounds of so baby. So, no difficulties? Um, no, well... The only difficulty was, um, as I don't know if you guys know that her brother is 19 minutes older than she is, but 
he came out, he felt more like I was severely constipated. So after about three good pushes, he came out. And then her, she was kind of stuck way up in here. And after, you know, 19 minutes of trying to get her to move because she was stubborn as I don't know what, the nurse kind of put her arm up in here and made her come down. And um, I kept trying to push her out and push her out and push her out until... Um, Finally, I got her down far enough that the doctors was telling me to push and push and push and I grabbed behind my knees and I pushed with everything I had and then they tried to tell me to stop pushing and I couldn't so she ripped me. Tore my mm mm mm. Yeah, she tore. Yeah, so I tore with Tiana. She was nine pounds, two ounces. You said that already. Oh, sorry. My second baby was nine pounds, two ounces. My first was ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> them some big babies what was your first thought when you found out you were having twins i bugged i straight tripped because i was, i had one baby before i ain't never had two and so um i remember being at the doctors when um they first like my first um what you call those appointments prenatal, prenatal appointments the um first prenatal appointment and they take the little doctor thing and they put it on your stomach to listen for the heartbeat. And the doctor must have had, he obviously heard too because I ain't never had, had an ultrasound at 10, 12 weeks. So, really? to read people's minds why that is the second because part. then i wouldn't have trust issues is life keeping you up at night a calm mind and sweet sleep are in your future that's a legit answer what's the weirdest thing you ever googled something that i can remember that i googled recently was porn Oh, my Lord. Lord Jesus. Well, I'll tell you something that I recently... Well, not it recently, but... It was BBWs. Ma, you... Don't, don't tell that part? No. Okay. It didn't say why. Okay. It just said, Other it just said something. Okay. Um, it's something that... The weirdest thing that I had ever Googled was... um, I forgot what it's called, but I think it's like triphobia or something like that. The holes. It's like a... It's a bunch of like... Yeah. holes in your hand like it it can be like it's like a it's like a weird looking pattern but That's it's nasty. like it's oh, yeah it makes you want to like it makes your skin curl Ooh, it sounds like it if y'all know what i'm talking about leave it in the comments how was t as a kid is eli's personality a boy version of her yes she don't believe it but she was bad as hell she didn't listen and she didn't like to clean up her room, just like Eli. <laughs> no. Look, you see, look nah. at her face. Eli got, Eli no. got some other she issues She don't even too. know, she don't even know that she um, didn't like to do it. Uh, no, I remember, oh. I remember the cleaning up the room part. But like, when it came to like, just being bad, I wasn't a bad kid. Yes, she was. Ma, I was not bad. Look, I just she did, don't even know. Listen, I just did stuff that kids would do. Her. Like I That's was, what he do. Ma, no, he don't. And he don't listen, just like you did. Nah, Eli be off the meat racks, y'all. Like, literally off the meat rack. Somebody asked, how many kids do you have? I don't have any. She got three. I got three kids. Who's your favorite child? I don't have a favorite. I love all my children just the same. No, look, we're being honest here. I this am the, being this honest. The, this is the hot seat. Come on. Because I'm going to tell you who my favorite parent was. I don't care. Go ahead, tell them who I, your I, favorite child I don't is. have a favorite child. I love she, all my she children is the same. happy. That's not true. I you know, it's interesting that they are talking about this because some people feel like every parent has a favorite. And me, I am kind of the same way you love your kids based on who they are but that doesn't mean you love one more than the other you may have to give one 
something different than you had to give the other one because they were a different person or maybe had more or less need. But that doesn't mean you love them more. That just means you are being the parent that they need at that time. I mean, you it's can't say that. not true. No, you can't say that I have a favorite because I don't. I love all y'all the same. I do not have a favorite. Because y'all all get on my damn nerves and I still love all of you. There you go. No, I don't. Who's my favorite then? Travis. You no, he's not. Your, your golden child. He get on my nerves too. So? That don't mean that he ain't your he's, favorite. He's not my... I don't have a favorite. She definitely got a favorite. I feel like if I had multiple children, I would have a favorite whether I love them all the same or not. Like, that's that's my favorite one. I can't... Mm -mm, that's never been me. I, ne I, I could never have a favorite because y'all all came for me. I agree with the mother on this one. I can't see loving one of my kids more than the other. Um, maybe some can, but me personally, that's not really something that I think I could do. Um, because I just love them so much. I mean, I, I put them before myself even. I mean, I would die for them, really. Which we all say that as parents, but I just can't see myself loving one more than the other. That's not even what I mean. Like, I don't even think that's the context they're even using it as. I feel like even more so, like, what child you may click more with or which, which child you may... Um... No, Tiana, what they mean is what they said, which is your favorite. Some people do have some favorites. Uh, relate more to but I have, or something like but that. But it's, it's really not like... I don't relate to Travis more than I relate to you. And I don't relate to Tyrone more than I relate to you. I have a, a, a individual um, relationship with the three of you. How bad was Tiana when she was a teenager? What's the worst thing she did as a teen? Tiana wasn't bad as a teenager. She she was a typical teenager, i say. The worst thing she did, she didn't listen when I told her if she was going to smoke a little trees to do it with her brother or her cousin and she didn't listen and so she ended up doing it with someone else and they laced the weed and she had a episode behind that it says mama k did you learn your lesson on online dating oh that's real personal. yep i'll never do it again i don't i probably won't date again because i don't trust nobody somebody said who is your celebrity crush uh sure how do you feel about your daughter's baby daddy pop up on my phone and I don't have any feelings about him. There you go. How many one night stands have you had? <laughs> I don't know, I can't count. Oh well wow. give us a guesstimate. Shit. Two that I can remember. Two? Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, do you remember their names? One yes and one no. Okay. What's your favorite position? Oh, ah! wow. He liked the way I ride it. Do your knees still work like Megan's? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What's your favorite? I think that it's inappropriate to have these type of personal conversations and situations with parents just because why do you need to know about their escapades and vice versa um you know even my kids used to come home and tell me when they skipped class or this you know things like that or when they got in trouble and i used to look at them like girl what is wrong with you nobody does this this is like not a thing you don't tell your parent everything but i mean they were all very intelligent, good students, and all of that. Uh, well, that second one, maybe not. But the point is, they doing too much, way too much. And I really think it makes you look at both of them different. You know, I mean, obviously, they're just human as well. But still, it's just certain things I don't feel like a parent and a child should be discussing. 
and most of it is in this video. Good thing to do in the bedroom. Oh my lord. Besides ride <laughs> it. Well, you can tell Tiana is on top. You don't want me to answer that Yes, question. I do. Oh, we want, we want to know. Mm -hmm. Oh, my lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't ask you to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Stop. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to stop it right there because, like, uh, they doing too much. Y'all, I wanted y'all to check out this video. I wanted y'all to see uh, how they acted. Um, and I wanted to react to this video because I feel like, you know, her mother's doing too much. And we see why she was able to be bamboozled. Um, I don't know. She just acts a little bit too hungry or thirsty or something i don't I, I can't even put a finger on it but i definitely want to hear what you guys think about it um let me know in the comments what you think about their hot seat video do you think it's appropriate to do a hot seat video such as this with your parent and if so would you do it let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be shooting a few videos today, actually. So uh, on my second channel, Just Me CMB with the T, I will be back in about 30 minutes. Um, and I will be dropping video on my main channel. If you guys are not members of both channels, you ain't know. It's Just Me CMB and then Just Me CMB with the T. They'll come right up if you search. And I definitely hope to see Thank you so much for taking the time to come check us out today. Like I said before, be sure to hit that like button. Let us know how you feel about this video. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that post notification. See you later.